Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be covering with the software testing fundamentals. So we'll be continuing with the playlist of becoming a software tester from zero to hero. Now, one of the very, very frequently asked interview question is, how many test cases do you write every day? So this question would be asked to you in an interview, whether you are going for an experienced interview mid-level or maybe if you are going for zero to two years kind of an experience interviews, right? Where you have some one, 1.5 years of experience at that time also you can expect such kind of an interview question. So what you have to answer? Now, now many a times people do end up answering, I'm writing 50 test cases in a day, I'm writing 100 test cases in a day, but is it it is very very important that you should answer this question very correctly so let me share my screen and let me tell you which are the different things from the perspective of which you can answer this interview see as a tester you would be basically working on test case writing when you would be getting the user stories in the sprint when you are getting it from the scratch when you are getting in the beginning level then you would be writing the test cases second thing is you also would be writing the test cases if you have to update something right let's say if uh, the acceptance criteria is there in a user story it has already 10 points now if it, apart from those 10 points two further points have been added by the client so what you will do is you will update the particular test cases with more two test cases or it might also happen that there is some changes in these particular 10 points out of these 10 points there is a change in uh, let's say a two or two or three points existing points then you will have to update your test cases so it is not like every day you have to write the test cases from the scratch every day you are updating the test cases not like that it depends on scenario to scenario it depends from the work that you are being assigned so what you will do in this particular case is, see, if I would have been at your place, so this is the way how I would have dealt with such kind of question. So the number of test cases I write each day can vary depending on the complexity and the scope of the features being tested. So you have to give a kind of a diplomatic answer here. If you will give to the point answer, no, no, I'm writing 50 test cases, I'm writing 200 test cases. I was interviewing one of the candidate, one of the student, and she told she's able to write 300 test cases in a day. I was shocked. If you are writing the test cases, it is not like you are doing a kind of a data entry work. It is something in which you will have to analyze the requirement. You will have to think from an end user point of view, and then you will have to design those test cases. It is something that will come logically to you. It is not something like you are doing copy paste of some particular work it's a kind of a logical work it's a kind of an work which includes a lot of analysis so you can say on an average i am writing test cases from 5 to 15 test cases per day now this is just a high level example you should give the numbers which you are able to justify you should not be giving very high number in three digit you should not be giving very low number also so it becomes important that you give the answer in the terms of range 5 to 5 5 to 15 detailed test cases per day right now however this can change based on factors like the stage of the project and whether you're working on exploratory testing regression testing or new feature testing right so such kind of things you have to answer because the interviewer does not knows whether you are applying with a fake experience or you are applying with a proper testing experience you have got uh, the genuine experience and then you are applying so such kind of things they don't know so you have to prove because uh, because there are many candidates out in the market who are applying with a fake experience but what makes you different to get selected that is important and then you can also tell i believe in quality over quantity so i focus on creating comprehensive and effective test cases that thoroughly cover the requirements and edge cases for instance when i was working on a recent project involving a new user authentication module i spent considerable time so you can tell you can elaborate such kind of things you can give some real time examples yes you're working on this module you're working on such kind of modules and you are analyzing the requirement you are going through the requirements multiple times those included positive negative edge cases boundary cases corner cases right such kind of things you have to tell additionally when using automated test 
So further, you can also tell that you are also writing the test cases to ensure that your overall testing coverage increases. So it becomes very important that your testing coverage increases because as and when you would be kind of uh, getting into a bigger and bigger project, when you would be associating more and more features in implementing more and more functionality in your projects, it becomes very important your, your, what is your test case coverage and is it proper or not, right? So this is also one of the points that you should mention. See, in an interview, it becomes very important which words you are choosing during the interview because your words would determine what actions you are doing at your workplace, what kind of testing you are doing, what is your test strategy, what kind of testing work you are doing at your workplace or in your day-to-day -day life. So your words should be very proper and it should look professional. It should not look like you are kind of a faking kind of a person who is just telling 120 test cases per day. So imagine now, let me tell you why I'm telling you not to give some random figure. So let's say you are telling 120 test cases per day. In a day, you would be working for eight to nine hours. If you exclude one hour lunch break in that, you'll be working for seven hours, for example, eight hours. Let's take an example of eight hours itself, which means you are telling that you would be writing nearly 15 test cases in a day, which is again, not possible, right? Writing 15 test cases in a day, it's not possible itself. So, which is why, in, a, in an hour, because you have to analyze the requirement, you have to design those test cases and then you have to write them, right? So you should take care of such care of things that you are not faking in an interview and you are giving the proper kind of the things in the interview question which has been asked, right? 15 test cases, if you are writing in an hour, that means you have to write expected result, actual result, you have to write prerequisite, you have to write test data, test steps, all these things you have to cover. Right. So it becomes very important that you take care of such kind of question when it has been asked in an interview. Right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.